Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In a previous video, we showed you that we cleared out that wall in preparation to build the stands and get the tanks in. So today, what we need to do is build the stands, paint the stands, and get those in place. So stay tuned, and that's what we're going to do. All right, everyone. So it is like zero degrees outside, so I don't really feel like making stands just yet, and I want to keep the fish room moving along. So one of the things that we're going to do today is get these tanks cleaned up. Uh, the 40-gallon breeders I got from uh, the dollar per gallon sale, uh, they're a little dirty. I'm not worried about those. But the 33 longs that I got from the aquatic experience, they had sand in them, and they scooped out most of the sand, but there's still a little bit of residue left over. So I want to get those cleaned up, and I want to paint the tanks, uh, and then that will at least keep us moving along until it gets a little bit warmer so I can start cutting wood for the stands. Okay, so we got the tanks, or I got the tanks cleared out. A uh, little bit of sand that was left in the 33 longs is gone uh, for the most part. And then I cleaned off the backs, what's going to be the backs of all the tanks. So I lined up, you look here, I lined up a 33 long. We got two 40 gallon breeders. And then we got these two 33s here. Uh, so now it's time to paint. Okay, so now we've got the first layer of paint on the back. By the way, I do have a video that shows how we paint our tanks, what we use, how we do it. I will put a link in the description to that video so you can see it, just in case you're curious. But we got to wait for this to dry. The first coat, at least for the paint we use, doesn't go on very smoothly. Uh, if this were better lit, you'd see a lot of streaks, a lot of areas where you can see through. But the first coat is a base coat, and that's going to give us what we need for the rest of the coats to stick to the actual uh, paint a little bit better. Uh, I usually do three coats, and so I got a couple more to do as soon as this dries, and we will be done with painting the tanks. And then, really, the next step, I can't do anything else really until the stands get built. All right, everybody, the last coat just went on. Now that's got to dry, and then I'm going to restage these tanks over out of the way. Uh, so now, next step, so there's really not much more I can do at this point except wait for the temperatures to warm up a little bit so I can make the stands. So if you recall, this is the pile we started with, and now we have to turn this into a stand. All right, everybody, now you get to see the mess. I was outside, and I decided, even though it was like literally negative degrees outside, it was freezing in the garage. I just needed to get that wood cut. And so I've already started to assemble some of the uh, parts of the stand. That's the three levels for the 33 long. Those are for the 40, uh, 40 gallon breeder stand. And then we have all of this wood here. And there. Uh, and then it's just a matter of building stands. All right, everybody, so we got, I got uh, both of the stands, for the most part, built. Uh, it takes me a long time. I'm not fast at this stuff, so to go from a pile of wood to two stands at the stage that we see them now, it took me like nine hours. Uh, I'm sure there are people who do it a lot faster than I do, but I do pre-drill all my holes just because it cuts down on the, on the likelihood of wood splitting. Uh, which is a real pain so that definitely slows me down a little bit went through uh, i went i bought 350 screws i've got about well let's see here 25 left or so so i went through about 325 screws to build these two stands what i'm going to do is call it a night because i'm getting tired and tomorrow morning i'll come back and add the plywood uh, for each level again i like to do that because uh, one, I don't like light shine, shining from the tank below to the tank above if I've got fish that dig. And the second thing is, if I ever want to put a different size tank, it's just a little bit easier to do if plywood is already there. So plywood tomorrow, paint tomorrow, and these things are ready to go in. And we are ready to start setting up tanks, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, everybody, so the plywood, sorry for the shadows, but the plywood bottoms are on. For both stands now it's a matter of painting and i am going to recruit the two boys to help me with this so we can get it done a little bit faster so when we check back hopefully these things will be painted and we just gotta wait for them to dry all right so this is 
the one side of the basement and now we have these five are in we got the stands painted today we got the tanks in we got the lights hooked up but that's it we're going to uh, call it a day today the boys really did a lot of work they painted they cleaned uh, they just did an amazing job and they made this a lot easier so we're going to uh, go ahead and start getting these tanks filled and we'll bring that to you as we get the fish moved in and get the tanks all hardscaped so it's it's been fun it's, it's nice to have this wall in can't wait to get the water in can't wait to get the fish in all right everyone so we're excited the stands are in the empty tanks are in place and so the next step is to finally get those tanks up and running. And that is my favorite part. I didn't like building the stands. I don't like painting stands. I want to thank Luke and Eli. They were a huge help in getting those stands painted and getting things up and running and bringing me tools and, and helping me out with the process. So the next step, like I said, we're going to get some fish in those tanks. So in the next few weeks, we're going to be bringing you those videos as well. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.